right guys today we're going to be doing our pumpkin pie inspired look and just kind of, we're going to be using the morphe jack on hill palette which has lots of warm shades and i usually go for warmer shades and we are going to start with a fluffy crease brush and We're gonna go in with Mugshot. Just kidding. We're gonna start with a Rush. And we're gonna just blend that into our crease. All right, and after we've done that, we are going to, after we've done that, we are going to go with a smaller brush. I don't know the name of these brushes, sorry guys. And we are going to be using um, this shade Alert on the very end right here. And we're just gonna take it in the outer um, corners of our eye in like a little V shape. Alright, so once we have done that, we're going to take a big fluffy brush and just blend those together. Except we're going to take a different brush. <laughs> That's not clean. So we're going to take, once I clean it, there we go. We're going to take this brush and just blend these two colors together. That way there's no harsh lines. And you just blend, blend, blend until your little fingers bleed. Thank <laughs> you. 
And I'm just checking in the mirror behind me to make sure everything looks all right. All right, and then we are going to decide on what um, lid shade, apparently. <laughs> and we are going in with Mugshot. And we're just going to put that on the lid. Alright, and then we are going to take that little, whatever that little brush is called again, that I've had for 5 million years, and go back in with Alert on the end, and just go back in on the outer corners to make it a little deeper. And by the way, it took everything in me to not add any shimmer or glitter or sparkle to this eye makeup look, because that is my thing. And yeah, but I just wanted it to be like a really simple, matte, easy tutorial today. So, and then we're going to go back in with Rush on the fluffy brush and just put that in the crease again, just to kind of pull everything together. Like I said, the more you blend, the better everything looks. So blending is very important. And then apparently I wanted to touch up the outer corner again. <laughs> because I'm not satisfied. <laughs> And then we're gonna put some more of the mugshot on the lid. Make sure everything looks good. Don't know what that hand gesture was. But now we are going to take this flat little brush and we're going to go in with this very, the end color, it's um, Secret and it's a really dark brown shade. And sometimes instead of eyeliner, I just like to um, just kind of smudge this into um, the top lash line just to give the effect that like I have some eyeliner on but I'm just kind of lazy sometimes and I don't want to put eyeliner on to be honest. <laughs> And I constantly stab myself in the eye, so, you know, there's that. Then we're going to take this even smaller brush that I've had for 5 million years, and we're going to mix some colors. We're going to mix um, Alert and Mugshot, I think is the one that I did. And we're just going to put that on the lower lash line. Give it a little bit of something, something. Tie it all together, you know? The more I watch this video, the more I'm just like, God, I need to go get my nails done. And clean the back of this palette because <laughs> it's very well loved and used. <laughs> Also, I always do my eyes first instead of my 
face makeup and today I did it the opposite so <laughs> there you go um it's bugging me that I can't like kind of clean it up just a little bit but we're, we're making it work we're making it work guys all right now we're gonna curl those little lashes And stab myself in the eye like I always do. And then we're just going to throw on a, a couple of coats of the Unique Mascara. I didn't want to do falsies today because, like I said, I just wanted it to be like nice and simple, clean, anybody can do it. And I know falsies can be tricky for some people, so I just figured to just go in with a little bit of mascara. I really need to get a spray tan. Like, bless it. I need to get a spray tan. Alright, now that that is done, it is time for some lip color because we still got some foundation on those things. <laughs> and I still have like the wrapping on this lipstick that I wanted to use, but it is by NYX and I can't remember the name of it. Let me see if I can read this. Um, yeah, no. Can't remember the name of it. I'll post it in the comments below. But I usually align my lips first. And I just found this, like, random. Uh, I think it was by Laura Geller. Um, lip liner that I needed to find a pencil sharpener to sharpen with. Because, you know, I'm prepared here. Alright, so I just, you know, do the whole line my lips thing, and I pretty much realized after this that basically you can see what the heck I was doing the entire time, but I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, like you just line your lips. So, that's what I'm doing here while you just stare at the back of my little eyeshadow palette and my ratchet nails and that ring though. And now we're going to take our lipstick and do the same thing. I really love this color for fall. It's a very nice, like, 
like kind of like a berry brownish color. And then to make sure everything like is nice and blended, I go back in with my little um, lip liner. And of course you can't see it because, you know, this is me. But you just blend that all together, make it look nice. And that concludes our makeup look today. So after editing this video, I realized I didn't really like do a full, I guess, outro or whatever for you guys. But I appreciate you watching the video. Um, I'm still trying to like, you know, get better at them and all that good stuff. But yeah, today is just a rest day chilling here with my nice pumpkin blanket, watching some Netflix. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody who does watch my videos and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit the like button. That way I know, you know, you guys actually like this content and everything. And if you have any suggestions that you want to see, then, um, always feel free to leave a comment or follow me on Instagram and DM me there. And thank you guys so much, and I love you, and I hope everyone has a great day.